Hello and welcome along to the next instalment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. So this video is going to be stripping out the interior, or the beginnings of stripping out the interior. I have a lovely little Mercedes Trekker minibus that I've just purchased. Now this is a 16 seater mobility minibus, the type that has the wheel, uh, the wheelchair lift at the back as well. Now everything in here is absolutely superb condition. So I'm going to be taking these seats out just to try and sell online, just to try and recoup some of the money I paid for the bus. Now all the seats in here are superb condition, especially for the age of the bus. The bus is a 2001, so the bus itself is, what, 17 years old? But it's barely got any mileage on it compared to the year. And looking at the seats themselves, they're just looking absolutely superb condition. So it's going to be absolutely pointless ripping these out just to throw them away. I might as well try and remove them all out and advertise them online. Potentially with some of the rails as well. They've got floor rails and side rails in this van as well. That's also for the disability bus chairs and th uh, wheelchairs, things like that. Now all of these seats also have the quick release unwin uh, rail mount systems on them. These rail mount systems themselves aren't cheap. Just for one set of the rails for the unlock mechanisms, you can generally be talking anywhere from £20-£30 per set. And as you can see, every single set of chairs in here has those mounted on as well. So it's just another reason why it's worth taking a little bit of time and care to get all the seats removed as neatly as possible. Just to try and, again, recoup as much money as possible on the second hand market. So... First things first, get all of the actual unwin quick release mechanisms unbolted and removed. They're relatively straightforward, they're called quick release for a reason. You just need to twist the uh, lower bit round, that's actually in the lock position, but flip it round into the unlock position, lift the lever, turn that round as well. Do exactly the same on the other one, then just with a little chock of wood, knock the uh, seat back just so it fits into one of the round holes and then the seat itself just lifts straight out. So I'm going to crack on, get all of these mechanisms unlocked, then start knocking the seats back and hopefully they should all be freed up and hopefully in less than an hour, hopefully even less than that, maybe half an hour if that, I should have all of these seats fully released, free from the van and ready for sale. So I'll crack on, get all of these unwind quick releases all undone and we'll have a look and see what the floor space of the van looks like when all the seats are loose. So on the quick release mechanisms, you just need to twist the yellow plunger lever down. That's the locking mechanism for the rails. So it just needs twisting round and lift the plunger up and twist that as well. Same on the other side, on the other rail over there. So you twist it round to unlock, lift the plunger, twist that round. And now that is the seats actually unlocked. They are just going to be sat in between the holes though on the rail. So just with a little bit of plank of wood, a little hammer, just needs knocking back both sides, less than an inch. And then once the holes are lined up with the studs on the actual rails, the seat will then just lift out. So I'll get this knocked back just ever so slightly. This will then just lift out and then rinse and repeat on all the other seats. There you go, that's how you release the seats. As I say, just a small little chock of wood with a hammer. Obviously, you don't want to be damaging the rails. That's why a chock of wood's best. It's knocking it back half an inch just so the actual holes underneath the actual rails, as you can see, lots of holes along there, so they all have to line up with the holes on the rails. As soon as they line up, give the seat a shake and it just pops straight out. So, there's the back one done. I'm going to start working from the back forward, shuffling all the seats back as I go. And that'll actually create a little bit of good floor space at the front of the bus as well. So, one out, plenty more to go.
So that's all I've released all of the actual minibus seats from the Unwin quick releases on the actual rails themselves. Hopefully this video is going to be useful to somebody else who might be doing a similar sort of conversion or who's looking to either install or remove some seats from a minibus or minibus rails, ambulances, things like that. They all use the same type of tracking system on the rails and the quick releases. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it that good old thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button as well. I'm going to be documenting every single thing I do to this bus from delivery all the way through to fully completed camper van conversion. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give the video a good old thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video of this series. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.